Right, hello everybody, welcome to the uh, last chance losers bracket final of Group D to see who gets through to the main event. Um, we have the man, the myth, the legend, K Fog, PTK. Uh, he's played about a billion games with Dark Elves. Versus Calcium, who's played about six games with Wood Elves. <laughs> uh, he played his first game brilliantly, I thought, against Ingor. Uh, not so much his second game versus Yak. Blitzing the sidestepper, very good if he gets the power, to be fair. Which he does. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev. Do you know? Do you know? You know that graphic where it says it, it's at this point he realised he'd fucked up. That was what I. Uh, that was what I thought when Steph B said in the uh, in the Blitzpit Discord, um, "Can I take a babe or something?" You know, like with his inducements, and I was like, "Oh no, oh no, <laughs> oh no!" There's no way he's gonna. There's no way he's gonna qualify from this group. <laughs> <laughs> it's not not to be harsh to him, he's just obviously less experienced, isn't he? Exactly, Kill, exactly. <laughs> yeah. That was my initial reaction, like, you know, I just thought I didn't know who he, was, who he was from his name, so I thought he's probably going to lose to Devo, isn't he? Even though Devo had shitty high elves. But again, I didn't know what about the tiers. I didn't look at the teams. I just thought, oh, high elves are shit, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just gone purely off coaches, but never mind. Doesn't matter, does it? It's over now. <laughs> I really didn't care about the predictions either, so obviously, because I didn't even look who was. Didn't look at any of the teams <laughs> or any of the coaches or anything. Really, I didn't. I didn't really take it seriously at all. Which maybe I should have done because there was there's some kind of prizes, isn't there, on the beat dial things? So maybe I should have taken it seriously, but. PTK getting. I mean, is he? Is that a? Is that a PTK move? It's funny, isn't it? I remember, I remember PTK playing a match before, where he was just all about the ball and he was always blitzing for position and stuff. And then this time he's run all around the houses just to whack the dancer. I mean, I don't know if that's because it's a dancer or what, but uh, interesting. <laughs> all right, all right, fair enough, here, Dev. <laughs> Um, two from each group, um, Fermia. So Yak has already qualified from this group, and these are the last two to qualify uh, or to play for qualification. Um, there are five groups in total. There's, a, there's going to be another group session in this evening. Um, so all in all, there'll be ten teams plus the six teams that have already qualified, which is the pa the previous winners of Blitzpit. They're already qualified. Um, so, so that's like PC and Dio and some people. Yeah, so it will be sixteen teams total, but six have already qualified. <laughs> Really tempting to activate the tree, isn't it, and get him on a uh, get him on three players because he could leave a player here and a player here, so they couldn't dodge out. He's gonna go there. Time, good strap. Yep. <laughs> the old, <laughs> the old rabbit in the headlights to, to run down your last few seconds. <laughs> the opposite of the, <laughs> the opposite of the uh, patented wolf bark. Ten actions in the last three seconds. 
Calcium just likes to watch the last 10 seconds run down. <laughs> I mean, the good thing for Calcium is he, he will be able to turn over K Fog, isn't he? K Fog only has the one guard. Um, so he'll be able to leap in and strip him or tackle him. Like, he'll have no bones about getting the. You know, playing aggro on defense and stretching the game, and maybe he's getting a shot at, uh, maybe getting a shot at K Fog, whereas whereas P uh, blah, 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 Yak's team just looked horrible. It looked like you know there was no no way to win that really for uh, for the Woodies. Slight exaggeration, but it looked bad. <laughs> Kane just hitting the dancer. No mighty blow, though, so. Hopeful. Hopeful at best. Wow, and fouling him as well with 11 men. Oh, look at dog. Well, obviously, Calcium's going to apple that instantly. <laughs> I'm not saying that Calcium wants to quick score, but I mean, he's not going to mind quick scoring. Whereas, I think it would have been suicide against. Uh, Against Jack, I think against Jack, quick scoring would have been suicide. I don't think he will. Like, I don't think he'll score this turn. But I mean, he could have done, couldn't he? <laughs> oh wow, really? <laughs> but Singola also failed is the bribe as well, didn't he? That's that's amazing that they that they did that together. Yeah, cheeky little gym foul. Arsene Gore's second foul. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Oh, I thought he was going to punch him with him and then blitz, blitz her and dodge. But this works, doesn't it? Yeah, glorious. I mean, not really glorious for anyone. Is it just one day the witch? No. One, two, three, four. Is it worth even? Probably worth it. Probably wasn't worth So PTK can't run around the houses and hit the air uh, dancer this turn, can he? He is going to three dice that catcher, though. Or more certainly, by putting those two guys in. Thought about basing him and thought, fuck this. Maybe he's going to uh, blitz somebody else, actually. These two look like he's going to blitz him, but yeah, he can blitz the dancer or this guy or anything. And he's going to run around. Yeah, he's going to blitz him. So again, Kazim probably get another turn out, of the st another stall turn out of this. 
relatively easily, but um, doesn't look like he's gonna, does it now? Especially not without the knockdown. I mean, he'll just go now. Well, he he outbashed the uh, dark elves. He's a man up. <laughs> so he might be able to get a turnover. You know, like the game the game elves versus elves. They don't have sure ends, do they? So the game can get stretched. It is one reroll versus three? So obviously. Strongly in favour of PTK winning 2 1 in normal time right now. But. Calcium's going to get chances on defence. It's just whether he makes the right decisions and rolls the right dice, isn't it? <laughs> Mono brows out. Um, no, because there's clearly two Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a line. <laughs> this is just two brows. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Dev. Yeah, I don't think I'll see my mind either. I never, I never thought Calcium feared the early score against PTK, which gave him a good amount of freedom on offense as well, didn't it? So that was good. Obviously, it's harder to sack the. Uh, the dump off bastard, but <laughs> he could do a he could do yak and, and intercept it <laughs> and then fail to knock him over. <laughs> oh, that was such typical fucking dump off shit, wasn't it? Only a bloody stun. That's it. He's really not likely to remove anybody, is he? Without mighty blow. About 50 50 to break armor. Well, less than 50 50 to break. 50 now at 36, isn't it? Yeah. And then. What's that? 5 out of 12. 5 out of 12 to break armor, and then 5 out of 12 again to, to remove them, so. You're really pretty damn unlikely to remove armor seven, even though people seem to think it should happen every time <laughs> when they're playing against Norse or whatever. Skaven particularly. Every gutter runner that you knock over, you think, why isn't he dead? <laughs> but uh, pretty unlikely without mighty blow or anything. What's what's five out of twelve? I don't know what percent it is, but it's definitely five out of twelve, isn't it? Because it's fifteen out of thirty-six on the dices. Yeah, if it's scaven on north, it's about point four two percent. Yeah, exactly, Adev. Nah, I, I really like. Like I, <laughs> I know the, what the odds are. I know it's not like not as likely as you'd like to think it is. But uh, I know that. I know that I know that. Whereas I don't know that some people don't know that. And they act like they should get a, ca a kill every time. And, you know, they complain when they don't kill somebody. You know, they still make a Kaz, but then complain because it's not a death even. Some people don't. <laughs> Three D with tackle, pretty good. I just think armor in itself is a pretty bad way to balance things, you know. 
because it's just so easy. Crucifer's already qualified for this uh, by winning by winning a blitz pit in the past. I don't know who the six winners are. PC's won. Hello, PC. Crucifer's won one. Or, I mean, or at least one. Wolfbark's won one, hasn't he? There are three people that I know of won one. And then, uh, I don't know who the other ones are. Dio. Dio's won two, has he? Has Dio won two? No, Dio's won... Did Dio win the first one? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. Dio has two. Oh yeah, Shawnee, of course, yeah. Thank you, good day, Nick. There you go. Yeah, Shawnee. Called him one of the Burt's, didn't he? The 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 two heads Burt who made magical dodges. Shawnee one with the undead. Wolfbark one with the undead. PC with dwarves, presumably. <laughs> oh no, did Wolfbark win with Chorfs? Did Wolfbark win with Chorfs? Yeah. I still feel like it's first thing in the morning, even though I've now been awake for like two and a half hours. <laughs> I'm still half asleep. <laughs> it was nice of me, wasn't it, Fermier? Yeah. Um, it was very kind of me. To be fair, the two people who knocked me out might make the finals. Um, Ruzi who made the finals, and if Calcium wins, he'll make the finals. If he wins this game. Um, but, you know, they, they both played well against me. Like, neither did anything wrong, and uh, not least of which was rolling the dice to uh, sack the ball and pick up. If elves, if elves do that, they win, don't they? At the end of the day. If they don't make moronic mistakes, like... <laughs> Neither of them made moronic mistakes, and they both rolled all the dice they had to when, when they got their one dice leap in on the ball. This is turn six for PTK, so maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Calcium should have gone a bit wider there to try and stop a breakthrough at all. Tree doing a good job right now. This is not going to be easy for PTK to break through, is it? Not easy at all. Like, he can fully L screen and take this guy down. One, two, three, four. Like, you can have eight players. He's got loads of players, hasn't he? You can have a full, full L screen in front and, and bang this guy out. Or this guy. Not sure I should have bracketed him. Well, I mean, I am sure that he shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, and he's got the scoring threat. He's still, he's still covering a fair amount of space here, isn't he? I think he should, probably shouldn't have bracketed that guy, though. What can he do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like he can't, so he can, he can blitz him and come back and screen it even.
Yeah, it's okay because this, I mean, the tree's essentially immovable, isn't it? So. Maybe he could have been back one square to make this tighter so he couldn't just run through that direction. Adev doesn't really play on fumble either, he just watches. He always, he's always watching. <laughs> he likes to watch. <laughs> So he's not in range, is he? So PTK has to get scoring threats up this turn. And if he doesn't, Calcium's going balls out for the ball, isn't he? <laughs> get it up here. Yeah. GFI, the old GFI in the scoring range. Oh, he's already in scoring range, but okay. I guess he's got three rerolls, so. I mean, the good thing is that Fumble isn't that out of date, is it? It's not out of date like what we've got. We've got really out of date rules on Blood Bowl, too. So, he is not in scoring range, is he? So this is it. This is this is this is quite good from uh, from PTK because Calcium could just punch him and punch him, and then PTK can't score. But all, but he could also go for the ball himself, and if he goes for the ball himself, he can go two 0 up, can't he? But then also, he's got to leave scoring threats on. So it's uh, it's interesting. Oh yeah, that's fair enough here, Dev. Yeah, I wouldn't want to play that with that. I think you should have put more tackle zones on him because he's the obvious dump off target, isn't he? I don't like this guy being behind. I think he should have been on there. Cause... Okay, no, so he's going for the. No, he's not. He's going for the. <laughs> Okay, so he gets three tackle zones on him. Can't pass it to him, can he? Passes it back. Fumbles it and he catches it anyway. <laughs> Fucking look at dog. <laughs> Fucking look at dog. Hello, <laughs> Muppet. Yeah, he is. He is he is asleep after uh, staying up all night making Survivor series. I wouldn't really call him lazy Scuro, but yes, yeah. <laughs> Scuro is asleep. He should have a double GF out of the tree here, he should have double GF out of the tree up to there, shouldn't he? This doesn't really do anything. Okay, he's got him there. That's good. So PTK has only got one scoring threat. I think that was probably the right play to go for the ball, honestly. Like he's gonna, he might be left with egg on his face. You know, if Kevin can roll the dice. But um, <laughs> yeah, he could have just won the game, couldn't he? Could have gone two and up. Yep, I, I like going for the win. I think it was right, but <laughs> either past tense K Fog or Prime Time Kevin. Or Pink Toes Kev. <laughs> either either one of those three works. <laughs> Originally it was past tense K Fog. This is just a 4-3-2, isn't it, to score? It's not even hard. 
or you can just blitz him which is why I would have had the, the guy here I guess he could have just he could have just counted that assist anyway but this is the weakness of doing what he did isn't it 3-2 to score And he could have just he could have just played it safe, couldn't he? He could have just played it safe and gone up one 0 up. So bit unlucky for calcium to be fair. I didn't I didn't hear it going for it the way he went for it. But obviously had he knocked down that uh, guy, he would have been completely out of range. It was unlucky, yeah. It was unlucky. He did have the sure hands in the vicinity and the scoring threat downfield, so... Who's to say whether it was right or wrong at the end of the day? We don't have a Blood Bowl supercomputer to work it all out. <laughs> So, all he can say is it wasn't terrible. Survivor Series. be a bit tricky for calcium but he has got two rerolls this time hasn't he so he can get a bit rowdier if he wants it's gonna have it's harder to make it it's gonna be harder to make to like to defend it conventionally hasn't it because he's got eight turns instead of four or whatever so it's more likely that he's gonna have to do some kind of Larry leaping Yeah, I would do terribly in Blitz Pit Alley yeah, because it, <laughs> it can't beat anybody who's competent at Blood Bowl. <laughs> like, there's, uh, you know, the ones that exist in the uh, AI Bot Bowl or whatever. Uh, BZL commentated on some of the games. It was surprising they made proper screens and stuff. Like, they weren't as bad as the Blood Bowl 2 AI, but they were still bad. They were they were still bad. Like they wouldn't they would lose against anyone. Anyone who's in blitz pit would beat them. Uh, most of the time, of course. Seems you can't say every time because there's a lot of dice. But uh, I would favour all of the humans versus the AIs that we have available today. Oh wow, Skuro's missile. Alright, let me change the sound. Do you want to join us, Skuro? Okay, there this is the final game, Skuro. <laughs> um, Alright, fair enough. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. This isn't the final group, but it is the final game of the group. <laughs> oh, fuck off, Muppet. Watch the VOD, Skuro, watch the VOD. <laughs> In a rare break from tradition, watch the VOD. Ah, I fucking, as if you've got a chance, Gorilla Bloody Metal. You've got the brains of a gorilla, but not the strength. You've got no chance. I'm going to batter you. Like a fucking Mars bar in Scotland. <laughs> oh, he's going for the leap play. I don't know if there's any recovery whatsoever. This seems rowdy as fuck. But I mean, it would work against me, right? Um, so it just might work. This was the sort of play that people did against me. Yeah, pick up. I mean, that's the thing, right? If they just make the pick up. <laughs> oh, you ran out of time, though. Oh, pure dickhead. Pure dickhead. Don't run out of time. He could have like he could have screened this off, couldn't he? He could have powered him. And he could have screened it off. His tackler is a bit, uh, a bit fucked up. Oh, sorry, Ali Rada. Yeah, I put them on. I put them on auto. I was inspired by uh, Fight Soul Fight, who has who has auto ads. Because I'm just never remember to run ads. Yep, three dice with friend with wrestle is just as good as with into three dice, isn't it? Because it's got the extra man. So three into three with wrestle is, is good. God damn it, though! If Kazim had just had more time and he could have got another guy down, that was a bit of a throwaway. Thing. Like at least when he did it against me, he got to pass it to somebody out of range and everything. Was... I guess at least it puts it puts Kfog on the back foot a bit. Um... <laughs> oh, Lance is a pretty uncommon name these days, but in the Middle Ages, people were called Lance a lot. <laughs> Very good, thanks physics. Oh, there you go, PTK with the sneaky fouls again. He loves the fouls on dancers. <laughs> yeah, it's, it was running out of the time. If he hadn't run out of time, it could have been a great move. But running out of time, it just fucked himself, didn't he? Um, thanks physics for the bits. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Ali Rader. Yeah, I, but do you know what? I, I watched him and I carried on watching despite the ads, like the constant ads he was running pissed me off. But I thought, do you know what? This is pretty good having auto ads on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly, Ali Rader. Yeah. Calcium love leap. Do you know what, this is, I wouldn't hate the leap here, honestly, or just the dodging for the 1D. Because he can he can uh, cut off the tackler, can't he? Like, he already kind of has cut off the tackler here. I guess he just blitzed the card or all this. He's going to leap again. Just loves the leaps. Calcium just loves the leaps, doesn't he? And if you roll like Rick does, <laughs> loving the leaps can be really good. Flip me, guys. Gets him. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Oh, glorious. Oh, shit. That's not glorious. But. <laughs> <laughs> I think he probably should have just uh, left the tackles on on the ball, to be honest. Nah, it's not that good against Elves, is it? Thank you very much, Sea Brawls. Um, welcome to the stream, Sea Brawls viewers. 
Thank you very much for the raid. We're on the final match of the Blitzpit Group E. Not the final match. Not the final match of Blitzpit. Not Group D. Group D. Not the final match of Blitzpit. But um, yeah, very interesting. Minute turns. Third match in a row these guys have played, so they're both, uh, you know, probably suffering a bit in that in that kind of. <laughs> I can't speak. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken out of me. I don't even know what day of the week it is, <laughs> or what time it is, or anything. So um, <laughs> it's looking bad for Calcium here, pretty much. He's down to one dancer. He's just leaping in every turn with no real, uh, no real care in the world. <laughs> His strip's gone, so Kvog's put on a blodger. Makes sense. <laughs> yeah, they probably would. He, he hasn't played that many games with, with Woody's had he, but uh, honestly, the first game I thought he played pretty much perfectly. The second game, I thought he played not great. And then the third game, he's played a bit more like a uh, <laughs> like he just played like a bit more of a a bit more of a kind of how you'd expect someone who doesn't play L's a lot to play isn't it very aggro but I mean this is how some people who play a lot of L's play don't they like there's more than one way to play skin a cat um, I I heard that this is how uh, Spartaco plays woodies and uh, you know there's like there's really good players like uh, Pete Purple Goo plays them very conservatively, but there's a, there's really good players that play them really rowdily as well. So it's not like it's wrong to go for leaps and stuff the way he has done. <laughs> Just if he hadn't run out of turn, like it, it nearly worked for him, didn't it? That turn when his. Uh, when the catcher got it, if he'd had a bit more, if he'd had, well, played his turn better, so he had, you know, he had those moves to do, instead of running out of time. So, like, it was his fault that he ran out of time, it wasn't the time's fault that he ran out of time. If he had, uh, if he had not run out of time and he, he could have screened that off, it could have caused him a lot of problems, but as it was, he, he allowed the 3D from the wrestler, which killed him. Oh, and now he's got surfed. That was rowdy though, wasn't it, from PTK? That was fucking rowdy. He does, yeah, to me, he does. Oh god, now it's looking bad for Calcium as the attrition's happening. Yeah, exactly, Dev. It's like going all in every hand against uh, against Phil Ivy. That's my analogy, and I'm sticking to it. Going all in every hand is like a pretty stupid way to play, but against Phil Ivy, it's going to give you uh, the best chance, isn't it? It's going to give you a better chance than trying to play properly against the motherfucker, isn't it? Calcium can run round and uh, and cancel this actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI. He's got sidestep anyway, so he, he could totally cancel that and get in for a one or again <laughs> if he wants. I don't know anything about bas basketball, to be honest, but I guess, yeah, same kind of idea, isn't it? <laughs> Randomise the equity, as, as Rick would say. 
Oh yeah, you can just jump in from there as well. Oh, well, that's just better, isn't it? Right, this means he gets served. Which isn't great. Well, he doesn't get served anyway. Whereas from here he wouldn't have got served. But then I guess he would have got the sidestep to there, which would have been a horrific sidestep, so... Yeah, it's looking rough now. Your 3D. Not over yet, though, Calcium. Not over yet. That was maybe a bit, a bit too far again. You know, he was quite hemmed in here. Turn 14. Could have maybe done a similar, similar play to the first half. Yeah, exactly, 98 Smith G. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter what he does. If you go all in every hand against against Phil Ivey, that's just definitely the best. That definitely gives you the best chance to win. If you try to outplay him, he will outplay you and you will lose. <laughs> Whereas, even if he's got aces, yeah, even if he has you completely crushed, it's, it just doesn't matter. Ah, les joueurs viennent au soutien de leurs coéquipiers. <laughs> yeah, the entrance running. Jesus Christ, that was horrendous. That was absolutely amazing, though, wasn't it? Amusing the chair and Dimmy being chairproof it was just incredible. Yeah, that was the thing about the last turn, because now this is a lot. It's just a lot better, isn't it, hitting him? This here, this turn is, or just getting in the way this turn. Like he's still only got two turns to score, could go to overtime. So I think that was a bit rash that that attempted ball sack. Oh, huge Kaz, if this goes to overtime, which is a big fucking if, but if it does, no re-rolls as well, using the last re-roll on that was the killer as well, wasn't it, like, if you still have a re-roll, this looks a lot better, but it's not over yet, but it's not good. Two players this far back, these two too far away, like it, it yeah, I think the last turn was a mistake, to be honest from Carlson. Good afternoon, Magnus the Pink. Yeah, he could have had a stronger position and, and another re-roll. Yeah, but never mind. What can you do? Just gotta keep going. Hope for the best. Massive power, wasn't it? A push there would have been pretty disastrous, really. He definitely needs JFIs, yeah. Talking about lords. <laughs> He's movement seven. <laughs> Probably should do one right now. Seems he's got two re rolls. Espérons qu'il tiendra bon. Ah. 
Yeah, just think Calcium could have got this guy around. If he still had the reroll. <laughs> this guy around here to assist. And uh, could have left in around here somehow, couldn't he? If, if his dancer had been central, he could have probably left it, jumped around, or just dodged around and got a 2D on the ball. Can still run back quite effectively, so we might be able to stop it still, you never know. Yeah, if you can, if you can blitz the forward guy and get in the way with everybody else. Gets him down. Not in range. So now he can't go laterally with either of these. He's got to make these dodges, hasn't he? Just to try to add something to it. Yeah, exactly, saving it for all the time, yeah. What gives him the best... What gives him the best score here? Probably maybe just going down the sideline, eh? Just blitz him and dodge through. This is pretty annoying to go through diagonally. Oh, did he? Oh, fair enough then. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I just thought it was the previous two. Fair enough. Is it just blitz this guy? I think that's all there is. Oh, no. Oh, but then this tackle here. Go through this way, then you've got three, two. Yeah, but it's through tackle. Yeah, all right, so hand off and then dodge through tackle. Oh, now it gets hard. Now, now the blitz through here. Well, now he can still do the blitz through here, can't he? Oh no, he's already done the blitz, so he can't do it. Oh, he, he should have done the handoff first, shouldn't he? He should have done the handoff first um, before he did the blitz, and then he would have gone through this way. Would have been better, I'm sure, if he didn't have a reroll. But it's all right. He rolled all the dice. <laughs> Quite a few dice, both uh, both halves to score for PTK. On another day, one of those could have not worked and we'd have seen overtime. And Calcium would have had a man advantage in overtime. Whether he uh, won the toss or not, he can still get the one turn here without a reroll. It's not going to be easy, but it's possible. Calcium has got the fame, so he might get a reroll. I mean, it's not that hard, is it? He's only got to get two pushes. He's got sidestep. So... It's not the hardest thing ever. You can block both the side steppers and then hit this guy, can't he? Mind, it's, he's only got a minute. How does he do it? Block both the side steppers, put the side, put his own side stepper here. Um, if he knocks them over, good. Depend to see where they side step to, but you can probably either leap in or just blitz into this guy and get the push. This should be pretty easy. Okay, not now. 
Not now. Even though there were two sides, it was. I don't think it was that hard, honestly. Like I would have just hit them. I would have just hit them and seen what happens. And then it's pretty easy. It just pushed. Like you know, the fact he's got sidestep makes it really easy, and he hasn't got that many players. So it's probably going to be pretty easy to do, even against the two sidesteppers. But not easy when they get perfect defense. Yeah, exactly, yeah, Dev, yeah. Yeah, it wouldn't have really mattered what he did. <laughs> wow, nine AV breaks versus three, but um, he got he got out bashed because the two send offs, didn't he? That was the that was the thing. Um, well, unlucky calcium, I think. I think PTK definitely got the better of the look there, didn't he? I think maybe you were, you know, arguably too rowdy going after the ball. Um, in the second half, well, the first half was good. First half was good by PTK, giving you the choice of going for the ball or going for the scoring threats. Um, and then the second half was maybe more of a mistake, going for it, going for it a bit too early. Um, when he was running out of turns after he'd gone for it early so the the going early going for it early paid off later in the half where maybe he should have switched gears and gone more more conservative in the, in those later turns to to try and you know I don't know it was really good run yeah it was really yeah attack 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 yeah that's true audiences it certainly lived up to the team name and uh, yeah it was a great 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 run Calcium, you know, on another day you could have easily won that game, couldn't you? And uh, made the yeah, finals. Yeah, you can always win with Wood Elves. Ah, hello, PTK. <laughs> hello, and thanks for the game, cats. Yeah, but congrats, was, uh, PTK. It's so frustrating playing against Wood Elves. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, hey, man. God. Both my qualifications, I played against Ruzi, I played Ruzi with his Wood Elves, and I played Kelsey with his Wood Elves, and both times they leaped in, one diced the ball, made a 4 plus pickup, dodged out, picked, you know, passed it, caught it, and I've lost. <laughs> Congratulations, K Fog. Well played, mate. Um, I just couldn't stop those dicey scores, could I? Um, I wasn't getting removals. You know, I was hoping to maybe get on top numbers wise. Um, but yeah, do you know what? It was a 50 50 whether I sat back and defended or whether I went for it. And I sort of wanted to play the way I've got to this point, you know, which was really aggressively. I didn't want to betray that. Um, but I'm really happy with my run. Obviously, disappointed I didn't get through. You know, it would have been lovely to shove your prediction up your ass, K Fog, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, everybody else has been doing that in the first three rounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one for six in the first three groups. <laughs> you know, um, and on another day, uh, my leaps, you know, in the qualifiers, I was leaping with impunity. I was playing really aggressive, yeah. you know, high risk, high reward. I, I you know, it's. You know, when when we're in chat and we're chatting and we're, we're saying, oh, that's really risky and this and that. Yeah, I know the score. You know, I know what I'm doing. I know the consequences of failing it. Um, I just went for it. And yeah, do you know what? I actually ran out of time again, which is unforgivable, given the fact that I am a naturally <laughs> fast player. That being said, it's really tough, isn't it? This, this has oh, got yeah. to be the toughest format I've ever played. Um, my, um, my time, I jumped for four seconds to zero and the last one, the one on my turn eight. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> I had to that play I was clicking on the player and thinking, this is fine. And then it turned my turn gone. <laughs> it's just what? Yeah, I know. Well, it's you know, I it's pretty uh, you know, if you're a slow player, you can be forgiven doing that. But I'm I'm historically a fast player. So me running out of time, um, when I managed to get the ball off of you, I, I, I was furiously moving my mouse and my screen was going all over the place. I was really <laughs> bollocksing it up and I thought Damn it! If I could have got one other player up to assist there, you know, it yeah. would have given you a real headache. Um, but yeah, I just couldn't stop. You know, um, you ironically for both the scores, you burned your reroll at the beginning. On yeah, on a, on a simple reroll, yeah. started starting. It was like 
Stop it. <laughs> yeah, and then roll and then rolled a bunch of dice, which you know. I, and again, um, to be fair, you know, it's, it, yeah, that was the naked three plus, but yeah, so it's after that is two plus and three two pluses yeah. with dodge on one of them. But other um, than that, you played. You know, you played really solid. You didn't give me a lot. You used your guard really well, which limited what yeah, I could I wanna, do. You want, you want to handle which direction you're coming from when you're coming. Yeah, I targeted that guard. Couldn't get. I literally couldn't get rid of any of your players. I think it's, you know, casual you know, Ian the witch elf turned what fourteen. Way yeah, too late. Yeah, it would have been good to for be all fair, the time, yeah, too late. For compared the, yeah. to both my first games, I ended the first game with like two elves left, if not one. <laughs> one uh, player. Yeah. Think, yeah, and Singolo game was the same. Everybody just disappeared in this game. It's not like the wood elf was disappearing before late second half either. No, uh, I, you know, the foul, that was the only thing I did until midway to second half as well. But of I course, thought the foul with, for Rowdy. When did you learn to foul? You don't even foul ever. <laughs> yeah. What's that about? You, 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 have, you need to see me more play. That's that's literally one player, one type of player. So going to foul even with, with elves. <laughs> yeah. It's a triple tackle war dancer. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 it, and it paid off, and it paid off. And do you know what? Um, yeah, congratulations. I've, I've really enjoyed my Blitz Pit run, which is unusual because I hate res normally. Uh, <laughs> you, don't, you don't get to think about it's res. It's mainly that, maybe that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you don't have time to think about it actually being res you play. I think it reminds me of how why I fell in love with Blood Bowl. It's fast, it's furious, you haven't got time to think properly. And I, I, I find I enjoy the game that much more when it's not being fucking bearded to death. You know, you've got some fucking stat freak. Hang, ooh, 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 you know, that would have been 74.5%, you know, and you're like, fuck off, mate. Seriously, you know. And so, yeah, this is this is a purer form of Blood Bowl for me. And of course, I'm disappointed I ain't got through, but all the best, uh, K Fog. I hope you go and uh, win it um, for Team Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, glorious. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to leave you guys to it, Jim. Thank you so much for streaming yeah. my games yeah, today. Um, you know, as ever, you are the Don. <laughs> we bow in your reverence. So, uh, but uh, I will um, leave you guys to it. Yeah, congratulations, K Fog. Uh, good day, Nick. Thank you very much for allowing me to take part in your tournament. It's been a lot of fun. Um, and now, on the on a plus side, every cloud and all that, I don't have to juggle my anniversary dinner in two weekends' time. <laughs> <laughs> I, and, and this is. This That's is the truth, right? I actually, yeah, I met. I, I messaged McNaughton last night saying, "I've got a bit of a problem. If I actually get through the Blitz Pit, right, then I've got to rearrange my sixth anniversary dinner, which would be not great." No. <laughs> and but, do you know what? I love Blood Bowl so much. I would to fill in for you. Oh yeah, he offered. <laughs> yeah, of course he did. <laughs> right. Anyway, on that, let's not reopen that old wound, eh? <laughs> <laughs> God. And yeah, of course, for Lina at the day, not the, not the blood bowls. Oh, yeah. well. Hopefully, um, if Gdanik's up for it, hopefully I can get in on some commentary um, during the finals weekend. Um, I would love to do that. So uh, maybe I can flatten my eyelids at you, Jim, or something. Um, that would be brilliant. But <laughs> yeah, um, be yeah, no. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you so much, Gdanik and everyone else. Thank you for the support. It's been really encouraging and it means a lot. And I will catch up with you guys soon. Cheers. Glorious. Thanks very much, Calcium. And uh, thank you very much, PTK. <laughs> and obviously, congrats. Yeah. And, uh, thank you for streaming, Kat. Oh, my God. Cheers. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>